Who said the rovers can't have fun? You have one still playing in the dirt. The other one is playing Merry Round the Meteor. Today! On Planetary Television. Spirit is continuing remote sensing and C2 science are positioned at her embedded location at the west side of home plate. Yes, folks, you've heard it right. She's still stuck in the dirt. For those of you who are just catching up, back in May, uh, the ro uh, Spirit rover ended up uh, driving over a patch of soft dirt. The problem is its rear right wheel is completely non-functional so when the left center wheels got on the soft dirt and started to spin like your wheels would spin in soft soil or on snow the right wheel could provide no traction so spirit got stuck she's still stuck now on Sol 20, 20, 15, okay, or 2015 a Sol is actually a day, on, uh, one full day on Mars. On Sol 2015, which was September 3rd, 2009, a Mars Bauer integration was completed on target Olive Leaf. On the next Sol, a rock abrasion tool, or RAT, for those who don't know, the RAT is actually, just imagine a spinning drill. The RAT calibration and a RAT diagnostic were performed. Then the APXS was placed on the olive leaf for overnight integration. APXS, for those of you who don't know what it is, is actually the Alpha Particle X-ray Spectrometer. Think of it as a mini X-ray machine that can read the chemical composition of items, of uh, material. On the sole after that, the robotic arm, or instrument deployment device, or IDLE, that actually kind of, kind of sounds like a dog's name, positioned with a microscopic imager, or imagine it as a very, very small microscope, to take an image of the capture magnet on the rover deck. Take a picture of the capture magnet on the rover deck. First of all, what the heck is a capture magnet? This is a actual, the first time I heard about this device. I am assuming, uh, I will uh, research uh, later, but it would sound like it's a magnet that could possibly attract uh, magnetic material that would be in, this, in the air. So the microscopic imager may be analyzing this material to find out what material in the air could be magnetic. Then the alpha particle x-ray spectrometer you're right, again, it's the APXS, was placed on that magnet for multi-soul integration. Now, the panoramic camera, PanCam, it's the, if you've seen images of the, the rovers, it's actually the big, tall, mast head with the two eyeballs. It's basically, for those who want to see it as a, a creature, it's the eyes of the rover. Uh, the pan cam was busy taking a 13 filter images of the Scamander planes and document images of the rover deck. Now I've actually uh, obtained images of the Scamander planes, so I will make sure that you see what I'm talking about. 
Ground testing continued at JPL with a test using the Mars Weight Surface System test bed, the ST or STB Light rover. Okay. For those of you who have uh, watched one of my recent rover updates, it's actually the test rover that they have at JPL that they're using to try to help um, Spirit get free of its its, uh, its its dirt problem. It's test it's it's being positioned over the center of gravity over a rock, and why this is happening is because Spirit is un in the same situation. It's over a triangle looking rock and they're trying to figure out ways of getting it unstuck over the center of gravity in the case that it does become trapped on, on the rock if it becomes bottomed out. Now as of so 2021 which was September 3rd 2009 Spirit's solar array energy production is 4, 8, 418 watt hours with an increased atmospheric opacity of 1.65 and a dust factor of 0 0.669. Okay, now that might be a little confusing. Basically what that's saying is over the past weeks there's been dust storms. The dust storms drop particles on the solar arrays of spirit. These arrays are used for spirit to provide energy. So it's basically stating that there's, another, there's 48 watt hours worth of energy for Spirit to use. This next update is focusing on Opportunity, the other rover. Opportunity has commenced circumnavigation of a full circle imaging of a large meteorite called Block Island. Hence, it's playing Ring Around the Meteorite. On Sol 1997, which was September 5, 2009, the rover moved 5.7 meters to the to the second of six standoff positions around the meteorite. At each location, Opportunity collects a set of images with the panoramic camera. Again, the big tall mast on you know the big tall head of uh, Opportunity. On Sol 1999, which was this past September 7, 2009, Opportunity drove about four meters. Uh, to the third position. The plan is to complete the circumnavigation uh, of the meteorite before departing on the, uh, from the location. On Sol 1995, a solar array dust cleansing event occurred. Basically, wind came and blew some of the dirt off the solar arrays, which means he had more energy. So as of this moment, both rovers are still doing fine. Unfortunately, the Spirit rover is still stuck, but they're still conducting scientific experiments, and hopefully we're going to get some more wind, which will free some of the dirt that's on his, or his arrays, so he can do more work. Unfortunately, it's limited because he doesn't have as, as much energy. Opportunity is still examining the, me the Block Island meteorite that he first identified about a month ago. Once he's done, he's going to move be moving on to other locations. So our rovers are still doing pretty good. Uh, hopefully in the next couple of days, next weeks, we will be uh, learning some new information. Once we do, I will be happy to uh, bring the update to you. Thank you for joining me for this September 11th update for the Mars Exploration Rovers. This is Errol Coder. Thank you for joining me for Planetary Television. And as always, as our friendly Jack Heimer always said, keep looking up.